and welcome for another starter video. My name is Stefan Eriksson and today I'm going to be showing you some quick examples about how to use keep and drop and how missing values are treated in starter. So you know what, let's get to it. The way we're going to do it today is that we are again going to use just an example data set in starter because that's the easiest way to showcase these kind of things. Remember how to get it is in file, example data sets, and then you have example data sets installed with starter. We're going to be using auto, the first one, so just press use, and we now have it in our memory. So we can even see we have the variables here and so forth. Remember in an introduction video, you can of course go to the browse editor here or the editor edit essentially. We're just going to go and browse the data and see what we're dealing with. And now we know all about strings, we know all about numerics, but what about missing observations? Well, the way we uh, start to treat them is the following. Look at this rep 78 here. We noticed here that these dots appear once in a while. Like we have two, we have three, four, and so forth. These dots in Stata represents missing values. So actually missing values are represented in two ways in Stata. Either they're dots like you see here, or they're simply just blank spaces. No need to worry when you look at rep 78, it won't show you the dots, how many dots there are. You can simply find out for yourself just by tabulating this. You know that, of course, that the total observation is 74. If I tabulate rep 78, like we can do here, tab rep 78, we will indeed see there's only 69. It doesn't tell you how many dots there are, it's just missing. So we know that indeed there's five dots in the data set. Well, let's look at this. When you want to have, when you want to look at your data and you want to say, hey, I don't like my missing values. I don't want observations included in my data set that contains missing values. And this is where keep and drop could come into effect. For instance, we want to drop the whole variable. If you want to drop an entire variable, the command will simply just be drop, followed by the name of the variable you wish to drop, such as so. And then of course you have keep, and that drop and keep is essentially just two sides of the same coin where you can write drop followed by the variables you want to drop and keep followed by the variables and data set you want to keep. So if you're only interested in getting rid of one or two variables and you have many variables in your data set, then drop of course is easier. However, if you only want to keep a few of a big data set, then of course keep is easier, but both can always work, right? So those are like the simple use of drop and keep. And another way we can also think about it, you can also drop with a condition. And this is where it becomes interesting because suppose now we want to drop every missing observation in rep 78. Then you can simply drop followed by an if statement. We've seen this if statement a few times, but essentially what they do, they come with a condition from which if it's fulfilled, the command is executed. So for instance, we can say drop if rep 78 is equal to a missing value. Now notice the double equals two again, because we're testing an equivalence. So for instance, I can just do this and we see indeed five observations deleted. We can of course double check, go view. We see there's 69 observations left and we don't find any dots anymore. That's an example of how you can use a drop with a condition. And of course we can also likewise use a keep statement. And suppose now we want to keep only domestic cars. So we can say keep if the variable foreign is equal to zero, because we know zero equals the domestic. So if I do this, we keep, of course, anything but 21 observations. So we have 69 minus 21, which gives us 48, if I'm not mistaken, go and view, 40 observations. And indeed, we only have domestic cars in our sample. This is a way how you can see, okay, this is how we can drop and keep just variables in total or with a condition. And remember, when you run, say, regressions or analysis, then typically it follows with listwise deletion. That is, if it has missing value, it's not counted in. So you don't actually have to actively remove them. But there could be cases from which you want to remove them and then should not be considered in your analysis. But be careful when you do so. With that said, that's all I have for you in this episode. And have a good time. And until next time. <laughs>